All right, guys. Welcome back. For those that are new, my name is William Bootsy Blandon, entrepreneur, self-proclaimed corporate hustler. I, I simply love when people think negative because it gives me more ideas for new content. And this one is why I hate dream killers. And I like to do these videos to show you guys what you're going to go through as an entrepreneur. And there's going to be a lot of dream killers, guys. A lot of dream killers. Dream killers are sometimes your own family, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your cousins. They're people that say, I don't think what you're doing is going to work. Guys, you cannot give up. You got to go out there stay focused and if you fail you start again if I had if I, I can name so many times that I failed for every five failures I have one success I've said that in previous videos so yes I failed over and over and over and over again but when I get a win guys it's usually a big freaking win that's all I'm saying. And I'm doing this video because I got a recent dream killer, AKA Time Wasters, respond to one of my postcards for my software business. Now mind you guys, I just got started. I just mailed my postcards out last month. I haven't even mailed out the 500 cards I have. I think I was only at 250 cards I've mailed out and I got a response. I've been getting responses um, Both in my my capture page as well as the my software back office So it's working. I'm getting responses mind you now this guy contacts me And he talks like an old-school marketer um, Somebody is probably retired, you know like a retired vet or somebody Nothing against vets, I'm just saying he just sounds like he's he's sitting home, not doing much. He's an entrepreneur, he probably gets a sale here and there, but it's sporadic. And he goes, yeah, I got your card in the mail. I was like, oh, that's good, they're working. It. And he was like, yeah, um, I normally throw these in the garbage, but yours seems so plain. So he's already like down in the postcard. That I, it intrigued me. Mind you, like I told you guys, sometimes when you leave out information, it actually entices people to want to check out your opportunity. So, so he's like, it intrigued me. And I wanted to ask you some questions. Now, mind you, this guy is not going to sign up for my opportunity. I could just tell in the direction that the conversation was going. Um, <clears throat> He knew exactly about my software business. He was like, oh, this is um, such and such. You named the CEO name of my software business. Yeah, yeah, I've been dealing with him a long time, da, da, da. He knew the owner of the My Capture page. Yeah, they've been doing this, 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 and a long time. So already he's trying to be one of those entrepreneurs that tries to reverse psychology, where they become your friend and then they want to pitch your, their opportunities to you. So I can already hear it coming. Um, and I don't think he wanted to do it in this call, but he wants to like gain my friendship and then later hit me. So he just going on and on and on. He's like, um, I don't think postcards will really work for my software business. And he was, and I was like, well, it got you on the phone, didn't it? He's like, yeah, yeah, but I'm a different animal. What the hell does that mean? There's going to be different animals, quote unquote, that respond to the offer because not everybody's going to respond. Most people are not going to respond to any postcard. You know, we know the math. We know the numbers. At best, you're going to get 2 to 5% response to, to these offers. I know this. And then I could tell he just assumed I was a rookie like somebody that just got started. So he's trying to like school me. 
And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking like, you responded to my offer, but you're trying to teach me. And he's like asking me all these questions. Well, where did you get your postcards from? How much you spent on postage? And I like a dummy, I'm like answering him because I'm intrigued at this point. You know, I was waiting for the pitch. He didn't throw the pitch at me, but he's asking me all these questions. And I was like, well, all I gotta do is get 5% of what I'm sending out and I'll be happy. And he was like, yeah, if you get 5%. So he's like killing the dream already, killing the dream. And I'm like, well, I'm doing a lot of other stuff. So right there, he didn't know that I had a YouTube channel that I'm doing stuff outside of just the postcards to bring in sales. And I'm doing other opportunities. This ain't my only opportunity. I'm doing, you know, Craigslist. I'm, you know, I got a couple YouTube channels. Uh, and I'm running down stuff that I'm doing, but I, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, well, you don't have to explain yourself to anybody. So I politely said, okay, nice talking to you. And he was like, oh, no, take my number, take my number. And uh, yeah, when, hopefully when you, when we get to know each other, you'll tell me where you're getting your mailing list from. He was, Cause I didn't want to tell him where I'm, what source I got for one of my mailing lists. You know, so he was like almost intrigued more that I wasn't just giving up all the information. I was like, yeah, I don't really know you like that. And I'm trying to hold this list for myself. And and it's not that I won't give you guys this information, but I'm holding this information for people that aren't wasting my time. Like if you want to sign up for the, the offers, I'll give you guys a world of knowledge. Anybody that knows me, if you're trying to get into what I'm doing, I will help you out to the end. But these dream killers, they want to just sit on the phone and talk, talk. I can just tell he's probably a single guy that retired, no friends, and just wants to talk because he has nothing else to do all day. Here I am in the back of my mind thinking I could be getting on a strategy session with somebody right now. Let me get this guy off the phone. So I politely said, okay, I got to go. You know, I got things to do. Um, which if he wasn't a dream killer, I probably would have spent more time on the phone. And uh, I think these postcards are going to help, but it's not my only strategy. And he's like, yeah, okay, I'll, do, I'll take down my business number. And guys, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I didn't even take down a number. I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, your number? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Pretended to take down a number. And when he calls again, I will be not wasting my time with dream killers and time wasters. You know, because you're just not helping the cause. You're not spending any money. You're not interested in any of the opportunities I'm getting involved in. So be forewarned, if you're a time waster, I'm probably gonna eliminate our access on the phone. And I've been talking to several time wasters uh, over you know the past few months because I had more time on my hands. But things are starting to ramp up. And that means less time to spend on the phone with the time wasters. So when he calls back, I'm probably, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm trying to be nice. I'm not necessarily gonna block him, but I'll just keep the conversation short. Yeah, I'm kind of busy right now and do your thing but dream killers guys especially when they're in your family can stunt the growth of your business because if you get enough negative energy it, it kind of makes you not want to be productive if that makes sense you need to hear positivity you need to keep people around you that are positive you know I'm more of a positive person. Even if I don't like an opportunity, I won't tell you to necessarily stop doing it. Like recently with our gas club, I stopped really promoting it hard. But I'm not going to tell you guys that if you like that opportunity to quit. Because a few of you that I've spoken to, you still kind of marketing it and stuff. I'm not going to tell you to quit. Go ahead. I'm just going to be honest about my opinions 
on how I feel about the CEO and the company, but I'm not going to tell you you need to quit because I'm not a dream killer. If you think that opportunity works for you, continue on marketing. It just no longer works for me. And I even still got my links out for it. So, but these dream killers, especially when they're in your family and your friends, you got to eliminate them. You have to eliminate them. And I'm not telling you don't talk to your family members, but um, I distance myself from even family members that are dream killers. And thank God my daughter's not a dream killer. Um, she doesn't act really interested in what I'm doing, but she's not sitting there bashing what I'm doing either. So I could be around her and my granddaughter and have an enjoyable time. We really don't talk business at all. It's better with family just not to talk business at all. Um, you're going to know what friends you can talk business and can't talk business with. But it really, I think if they're just friends and they're dream killers, you got to make new friends. You just do. It's just time in your journey where you got to start distance yourself from the negativity because it's really going to bring you down. It's not going to make you feel good. You're not going to want to feel productive. You're going to start believing what they're telling you. Like if I would listen to that guy, he would have had me believing that none of this stuff works. Um, I'm wasting my time, even though I'm getting responses, guys. The My Capture page is blowing up. I'm getting people's logging in they're not necessarily signing up but that's what the capture page does it gets them in and then it starts spitting out emails to slowly convince them so this is not a one month journey i didn't expect to get all my signups the first month of advertising and some of you fake entrepreneurs you think you know you're going to get all your signups in the first month you started no it doesn't work that way this is why I use the capture page and the, the text, my software business, it's going to slowly get them to convert. Not all of them, but a small, but all we have to do is get a small percentage, guys. All we got to do is get two to five percent to convert. We double our efforts. Like I'm only sending out 500 postcards this month, guys. I don't expect to get a mother load of signups for 500 postcards. But if I even get 2%, I just double that next month. You gotta think positive, you gotta think, focus on your business. You can't be having these dream killers make you feel negativity. And if you are a dream killer, which I'm sure you know you are, if you are one, um, please, don't waste my time. Now for you positive people, Continue to support, and I really appreciate it. Subscribe, like, comment, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.